Russia and Pakistan held the Friendship 2025 joint military exercise in Russia's southern military district, involving around 200 troops, that focused on counter-terror operations. India's first woman Rafale pilot squadron leader Shivangi Singh has earned her qualified flying instructor badge. Her achievement reaffirms her active service in the Indian Air Force, and also debunks the false Pakistani narrative. Multiple Chinese GJ-11 stealth UCAFs have been spotted at a Chinese Air Force base in Tibet, signaling a new threat to India's northern sector. The GJ-11 has an estimated range of 2,000 km and internal weapon base capable of carrying 500 km range land attack cruise missiles. The Indian Navy has commissioned three Netra static firing facility for testing of naval weapon systems. Zen Technologies has received a 37 crore rupees order from Ministry of Defense for anti-drone hard kill system. American firm Cummins is planning to locally produce its 760 horsepower engines at its Cummins India facility, that currently powers the Zorawa light tank prototype. Haryana-based Tana Drone Systems has unveiled its Shakti Long Endurance Loitering Munition, capable of 4-hour flight and 1,000 km strike range. It is equipped with a 25 kg high-explosive warhead to perform deep strike anti-armor and suppression missions, and production of 100 plus units annually is planned from 2026. The DRDO has received bids from leading Indian firms, to select a development and production partner for the indigenous V Rupaksha radar for the 200 Super Shukhoi 4.7 generation upgrade program, in collaboration with DRDO Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics. The V Rupaksha radar promises detection ranges of 300 to 400 km for fighter jets, and 150 to 200 km for stealth aircraft. Trials of the 350 km range naval anti-ship missile medium range are planned for late 2025 from a MiG-29K fighter jet, with future integration on the Rafale Marine and P-8I platforms. The indigenous missile offers over-the-horizon strike capability, sea skimming at just 5 meters, and stealthy low-altitude flight to evade radar detection. Officials have confirmed that extended range and surface launched variants are also in development under the Navy's indigenization roadmap. The RDO's Foo Fa Stealthy UCAF is a twin engine autonomous high speed operations in contested airspace, different from the single engine Gatak unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The Foo Fa will feature tailless flying wing design for low observability, internal weapon bays, and an indigenous cavalry engine derivative with supersonic dash capability, which means it can briefly accelerate to supersonic speeds during combat or strike missions. The Gartak will be optimized for deep penetration and ground attack, while the Foo Fa UCAF will be a strategic unmanned fighter designed for air dominance, seed missions and autonomous swarm operations with manned jets. The Foo Fa will carry Astra Mark III directed energy payloads and precision guided munitions within a 1,500 km combat radius. A private firm has received a contract for detailed airframe design using composite radar absorbent materials, and the first flight is expected in 2027, with initial operational capability by 2032. Today's Top 3 Comments